Hey everybody, I'm Adrian, and this is a special reviewed. With me I have... Zoe. Zoe, and this is <laughs> Jovi. Say hi. Alright, we're going to show you guys a special filament today. Yeah. Alright, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Oh, well, look at that. Hey, hers is, it? is safe and Here. blue. Can you hold it out in the sun? Let's see. Can I see? Oh, no. It's okay. Here you go. Come here. So what happens when it gets in the sun, Zoe? It saves its color to yeah, purple. That's right. Can I see? Can you flip him over? Let's see if his stomach will turn. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. You like see? that? Yeah. Wanna see? Yeah. You want to see? And Zofi says it's blue. All right. That's right. What color does yours turn? It turns blue. blue. All right. Well, here's something you haven't seen yet. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, Jovi. Hold on. All right, Zoe. Reach in there. Ready? Take one out. Go. Let's watch it change. Purple. Yeah. Look at that. This is an octopus, yep. and it says it's to purple That's like right. the lizard. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Hey, Jovi, you want to open the box? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to open the box? Okay, huh? come on. What's in there? Oh, wow. Can you hold it for everyone to see? Can we see it? It says it's purple, Look too. Look at that. Can I hold it? Hang on one sec. There Where's we go. The I wanted to see it change. Can you see? Let's see. Let's see. Is that cool? That's cool. Let's yeah. see. I'll call her like, like flutter side. <laughs> yeah. All right. What is that is cool? It? Are we done showing everybody the filament? That's it. I just yeah. wanted to have two more you guys hadn't seen yet. Hmm. All right. Are we all done? Yep. Jovi? Are we all done? No. <laughs> no? All right. We'll say bye to everybody. I'm going to talk about boring grown-up stuff. Bye, Jovi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Alright, so welcome back. So the filament that we're taking a look at is the Amelin UV Reactive or UV Color Change PLA. This one is the purple, which you saw in the video, and it also came with a small sample of blue. The sample was maybe 30 to 50 grams, so it wasn't a whole lot, but it was enough to do you know, two little sample prints, this being one of them. From what I'd read online, the purple was definitely the one that showed the mo most color change in my experience between the purple and the blue. That definitely does hold true. They also make a red and a pink. So if you want one that does more color change and lasts longer, I would definitely recommend the purple. Then one other thing I wanted to show real quick was this, I uh, did a little filament sample and I did it with both colors. I kind of miscalculated how much was left of the blue. So the purple is really only at the top, but using the UV you can use a UV flashlight to do the color change and it's just holding it there for just a little bit and you can see the difference between the two colors. The purple is really just at the top but I think it really shows pretty good how the purple lasts a lot longer because you can see I mean the blue has gone already and the purple's still there even though the purple really there's not much of it in this print. So I felt like that was a pretty good example of the, of the difference between the two between the blue and the purple. The UV reactive part you know that you can see in the video, that part is really cool. It's, it was definitely something that's fun to print and do with the kids, and, and they really enjoy seeing the color change and all that. So if that's what you're looking for, I think this is a really cool filament. It comes on, I got the smaller, this is a 200 gram spool. That I believe they also do have one kilogram ones as well. Uh, you can see the purple one, it's kind of odd. It has a little bit of a like a peach tint to it that, that you can see on the spool. It doesn't show as much in smaller prints like on the octopus. You know, it basically looks like a kind of a milky white, milky almost milky translucent. On larger prints like the Starlight Glimmer, you can kind of see it though. It has like a little bit of a peach tint to it, so it's kind of odd. The print quality itself is kind of odd. It's as far as the layer lines and everything go, it's actually really smooth. These were all printed on the CR10 with the hardened steel nozzle. Uh, these were at 220. The Gecko was at 215, and the Gecko I think gave the best results. At 215, it's a 0.12 layer height. It's really smooth to the touch, but it doesn't look like it's smooth. It's kind of odd. It, you can see 
a lot of the layer lines, but you can't feel them. I mean, it's, it's very smooth. I think what it comes down to is kind of an in inconsistency in the white color in the print. So it, it goes from a fairly opaque white to almost like a milky translucent white to somewhere there's really not much white in it at all. It's almost a, just a translucent clear filament. So if you're looking for, for print quality when it's not doing the UV reactive, I don't know that this is the best filament. It, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of odd because like I said, it, it actually does produce nice smooth prints. They just don't look like they're nice and smooth. So, you know, if, if you want something that's fun to do with the kids, I think this is great. If you're looking for quality prints, I just, I don't know. I'm not sure about it. So, but I mean, you know, the reason I did get it was to do something fun with the kids, and I think it was, it was definitely good for that. They, they definitely like the prints. They're waiting for me to hurry up and finish this video so that I can give them their toys back. You know, so that, to me, tells me it worked. It was worth it. So it really comes down to just what you're looking to do with the, with the filament. So... So I guess that's it for this one. Just kind of a quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed making it. And uh, thanks for watching and happy printing.